Yeah, there's this idea that a match is over before it begins. And, you know, I get it. You look at the lineup, you look at the players on either side, the ships, uh, and the way they're matched up. And a lot of us know, just based on experience, that, yeah, yeah we don't have a lot of chance here. Then I look at this matchup here, and I think, yeah, I, I think we do. In, in fact, we should have kind of an advantage. We've got a couple of Akazukis that should outgun a lot of... Uh, a lot of the DDs on their side. Um, you know, I I know uh, one of the DDs that's on that side, and I know that I can match up really well against him. Yeah, they've got a radar, and we don't. But I mean, overall, I I really like our chances here, and this video is really about the fact that regardless of the way it looks when it starts it doesn't always end out that way it ain't over till it's over and and, and in my estimation at the start of this my team had a a decent advantage I think going in here and quite frankly it, it just unravels and it, that unravels fast thankfully we've got uh, a player on our side uh, Ron James Dio from BNKR clan in Akazuki who I have seen many many times uh, on both my team and the uh, enemy team in the last few days uh, playing ranked and I know he's just a good player it, it, nothing stand out nothing solid it just a reliably decent player and the sad commentary on that about playing a bunch of ranked is that that's actually what stands out more often than not is someone who's just not a complete potato. And I know there's at least one guy on my team that's not a complete potato. Beyond that, you know, you, you don't really know what you're getting into. And this whole matchmaking monitor thing, that, you know... It can show you that you've got the better team or you got the worst team. And there are players that literally give up when they see that they aren't favored, that they've got an uphill climb. And it's a bit of a problem for the game. I wholeheartedly support the idea of matchmaking monitor just getting banned. And here, look, an Asashio managed to outgun one of our Akazukis right away. Right right at the start of the game. A stupid push into a bad spot and we're down a DD. A, an absolute monster gunboat DD beat up by an Asashio. And here I am, stumbling into a, a problem, <laughs> figuring that, you know, most Cleveland players are going to go try to help out the quagmire that uh, CCAP often ends up being with their radar. And there's our, there's their Cleveland pushing into our cap. But, you know, back to the point, here we are, down too early with too valuable a ship. There's the radar. I mean, we knew that was coming. 
And it looks like we're in a bad spot. We've lost. We've lost a cap. I'm in trouble over here. Our team looks like they're in trouble over there at the sea cap. But I'm not gonna sail to the map's edge and just play dead and give up. That's not the point of this. We get one back, a weird one. Oland beating up our their Shen Yang. And now he's way out on the ten line. And looking at the mini map, it things just don't look good here. And they go from bad to worse. Also, stop bringing Hipper into ranked. But that's a whole other digression. <laughs> Honestly, though, stop it. Sashio, too, while we're at it. So now we're down to... Uh, they're up. They're going to be up about 200 points here. We have very little hope now of capturing the sea cap. I, I don't see a clear path to victory. I certainly don't see a, a clear path to picking up the any other caps here. I know I've got a contest with a Cleveland. I've got a Bismarck behind me. God bless his soul. I know that the enemy Bismarck's got his uh, Hydro banging away because uh, he takes a very, very early turn away from my torpedoes. Shows broadside to our Bismarck. Um, uh, tells me he's got Hydro up. I'm going to stick with uh, our Bismarck here and not, you know, take a Benson one-on-one -on -one versus a uh, Cleveland. I don't like my odds there. And we're down, we're back down to being behind by a lot of points. Still only have one cap. Nothing's progressing the way you'd like to see it happen. It's certainly not as quickly as you'd like to see it happen. And I think this is where a lot of players get discouraged. You want those two caps right away. You want to feel like you're going to win, and you're going to win without too much difficulty. We're down another ship. Oland. Mm. Shocking. Can we talk about not bringing Oland into ranked anymore? Is that too early? Yeah. <laughs> we will yeah, bounce back. Our Turpits here. Sorry, I said he was Bismarck earlier. That's a Turpits. Uh, small differences. But, uh, you know, he's doing God's work here. But we still were down two caps to one. We're getting a little bit beat up. It's discouraging. And like I said, a lot of the times, I think a lot of players, when they get discouraged, have the tendency to just plain give up. And it's a bit dumb. And you'll see why. Enemy destroyer blown up. Oh man, it looks like we've caught up. It looks like we've got a good handle on this game now. If I can get my turpits to turn back to face that Cleveland, we can take the A cap. 
but that's not the way things are going to go, so let's go with the flow. And this is feeling good here. It feels like we can get a cap. It feels like the momentum has swung to our side. I just have to avoid being eaten up by the Cleveland. Maybe I can steal the A cap? I know he's over there. I can see his I can see his H E coming in. Maybe he's not sitting in the cap though. Well, let's go take a stab. Maybe draw out a radar. Come on, Cleveland Raid Army here. We have the advantage now. Things are going our way. We didn't give up. Oh. The enemy, oh, the enemy is about to win. Our Bismarck died. Oh, no, I'm right hard and he can hit me. Oh, maybe we're not going to win. Maybe things aren't going our way. Oh. I hate it when this happens. I just want to give up. Get to the next game. Play another ship. We're down 400 points. It's over. We're down one ship. Just two DDs. Me and... <laughs> Ron James Dio, <laughs> my man. Okay, all right. I feel good about this. I've got a player who's not bad. And yeah, I mean, we're down a lot of points. And sure, we're down a ship. And yeah, oh, there's the Cleveland. But I know he uses radar. So if I can get out of his hydro range, ah, oh, here we are, here we are. Okay, okay. And let's take, have a little talk about um, widespread. I know he has his hydro up because I just ran away from it. So I know. He's going to see my narrow spread of torpedoes, the first one that I put out, and he's going to dodge it. So if I put out widespread behind it, there's a very good chance that his fat cornbread Ohio living ass is not going to be able to dodge it. And yes, Ohioans, I think you're fat. If your name's not LeBron and you're from Ohio, Put down the corner. Oh, oh, oh! Got him. See? Look at that. We're down 280 points. If we could just add this guy. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, my God. You mean this game isn't over? You mean we all of a sudden have a massive advantage? I didn't give up at the very start, or the very middle, or the very end. God bless you, Ron James Dio. I'm putting the devil horn symbol on my hand right now. I'm rocking out with Black Sabbath, baby! For you, those of you that don't know Ron James Dio, one of the greatest uh, heavy rock vocalists of all time. Also credited with uh, the devil horn uh, hand symbol. And to you, Ron James Dio, I salute. Look at that. It's a good game, guys. Don't give up, please. Just play to the end. <laughs>